yeah. I'm just getting back in from work. Hmm. Oh, yeah, my ID. Sorry. Here you go. My name is Francis Moses. I, uh, uh, just finished a long shift. I'm the milkman. Seated here on my hat, I, uh, well, deliver milk to people and other nutritional guns. And I'll make sure everyone stays healthy even when we've got the whole epidemic of doppelgangers and everything happening. I mean, it's an important job. It's a lot more dangerous than it reasonably should be, but, you know, they've got protocols in place just in case anything happens. Are you new? I don't recognize you. Oh, first week on the job. Well, congratulations. You're, uh... <sighs> Your job is super important, and honestly, it just feels good knowing that there's someone out there keeping us all safe. I'm sure that it's more of a thankless job, usually, and people are just telling you to open the door for them, and I'm sure you've got plenty of jackasses who forget their shit, and then you just need to deal with it and tell them that you can't let them in. Uh, we've all been there once or twice, but... We I mean, just talk with the people from the DDD and, you know, once they verify everything by taking a sample, then it usually ends up working out. And there was a big scare one time, though, with the, um, with the previous guard. Yeah, that whole situation was pretty intense. I doubt anyone in the entire complex got a wink of sleep for like a week straight. Which is, well, pretty usual for me. <sighs> Insomnia's a bitch, but... Yeah, sorry, I'm sure you don't want to hear my whole life story here. Right, yeah, my appearance. So, um, as mentioned, I forgot to update my files, but I... I have been working on something new. I, uh, got tired of the old bunk. I, I just really wanted to go for something new. Kinda grew up my hair, started taking better care of myself since, you know, I wasn't sleeping anyway, might as well do something with all that time awake, and I got some decent results on my body, it's cool, it's, it's nice, but yeah, I'm sorry, I'll be sure to get that updated, I promise, I'll have it uh, submitted by week's end. Oh, hmm. Yeah, it's my, my, uh, my entry request. It's, it's, um, I've, I've got it around here somewhere. Where is that? In this pocket. Oh, shit. Did I leave it at work? All right, listen. I know, I know you're not supposed to let people in without a request, but I really don't want to have to go back to the hub of my job. It's, like... A one hour drive one way and I just desperately need some sleep so I'm, I'm sure you you understand and things have happened before I mean even if you've just been on this job one week I mean I'm sure somebody's forgotten their request right right okay look I, I can tell you everything I, I promise my name is Francis Moses right I live in the third floor apartment two um, I mean, my job's a milkman, got my signature tired eyes, I'm wearing my hat. You know, it's just, just all around me. Um, I could even tell you my apartment number is 4122, but obviously, you know, I'm here, so I can't answer, and, um, I live alone, so there's no one to really talk to. I'm sorry, I won't forget my entry request and next time I, I just really, really need to get to bed. What? My face? And my shirt? Oh, that? No, 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 that's not blood. It's, um, one of the specialties, a uh, special order of new milk. Um, uh, scarlet milk. I should have some extra if you'd like to try some. I, I know that seems unreasonable, but I, I truly am telling you the truth here. I, uh, I'm 
Just let me in and I'll clear everything up, I promise. I'm not on today's list. I don't believe that that could be the case. I left for work this morning, and I worked a very, very long shift delivering milk and other goods to people all day. I should be on that list. If you were to take a look again, I'm sure you'd see me there. Not on the list. All right. Well then, I do understand that, but you do have to believe me. I need to get to my bed. Listen, I am extremely tired, and I do not have time for this. I understand that you were just doing your job, and I can never fault you for that. But I do understand that you are newer, and you may not know me as well as the previous one did. So, I'm going to need you to make an exception this time, and let me in. I need to go to sleep. And I am not going to sleep in my car again because of some goddamn entry request. My clothes are dirty. I need a shower. And I need to be let in. So, I am going to need you to do me a favor just this one time. Because I am not someone that you want to make an enemy out of. Open the door. I said open the goddamn door. Why the hell are you sitting there looking petrified? Open the fucking door. You're really starting to piss me off, you know that. I was willing to give you plenty of leeway because you're newer, but now you're just being infuriating. Playing so tightly by the books that you're willing to let someone sleep on the streets. What kind of monster are you? Are you really any better than those doppelgangers if you let me out there with them? Let me in to my fucking apartment right now. This is the last time I'm going to ask. Let me in. No. Did you just open your mouth and utter the words, no, sir, to me? <laughs> I thought so. So let's try this again, shall we? Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Open the fucking door. Open the door right now. Or so help me when I get inside this building, I'll be sure to tear you limb from limb. <laughs> oh. Reaching for the phone, are we? Go ahead. Call the DDD. See if they will be able to help you. No matter how fast you call them, you cannot undo what's going to happen to you. Is that understood? <laughs> you think that this is enough to stop me? That this is enough to stop us? <laughs> no. No, darling, it isn't. You are going to be what makes doing this so much fun. I enjoy the chase. I enjoy the thrill of the hunt. I enjoy seeing the hope fade from their eyes as I finally get to feast on them. But for you, I am going to do so much worse. You are going to be my pretty, obedient pet. You are going to be completely under my control. And I'm not even going to have to hurt you for it. 
When that doesn't mean that I won't. <laughs> mm. Look me in the eyes, sweetheart. You do want to let me in, don't you? Gaze into my eyes. Feel how relaxed you are. <laughs> There, there. You know that you want to let me in, don't you? So go ahead. Open the door. I'll even strike you a deal. If you open this door for me, I won't hurt you too badly. In fact, I will not kill you. I won't do anything more than I need to. Just like you have a job to do, I do as well. So if you let me in, I'll be sure that no harm comes to anyone else. Think about it like this. Your job is to protect these people, isn't it? You're the front lines, their only line of defense. Would it not be the most honorable thing you can do if you sacrifice yourself for the greater good of the rest of them? You don't want the rest of them to be hurt now, do you? <laughs> no. No, I didn't think so. So, go ahead and open the door for me, and I'll come right on in. In fact, I'll just enter your office. I promise I won't go anywhere else. You and I will just have to have a little talk. You have my word. Oh, don't worry. I'll be sure to give you your fill. <laughs> you are a pretty one after all. I don't think I could resist you anyway. I couldn't bring myself to hurt that beautiful body of yours. Not when there's so much more that can be done. So go ahead. Open the door. Let me in. <laughs> mm. The way you jumped, it's almost as if you heard my voice directly next to you. Thus, doppelgangers have many abilities, and I'm sure that our transformational abilities would be something that you'd be particularly interested in. Anything that you want, I can become. And I'm sure you've got plenty of demented fantasies that you want taken care of, right? No, <laughs> oh, look at you hiding your embarrassed face. I'm sweetening the deal, aren't I? So come on. I assure you, I'll make this job so much more worthwhile. <laughs> Very good. All right. Here I come, sweetheart. Hold tight. Open up. It's me. You already know that, right? Don't think that this door is going to keep you safe from me. It's either you open it, or I do. Make your choice. But make it fast. <laughs> your milkman is running out of patience. And he's got a very special gift that he wants to give you. Over and over again. <laughs> mm, very good. What's with the look in your eyes? <laughs> Isn't it nice to see me face to face? Go on. Feel free. You can touch. I don't bite. Well, not yet anyway, but I'll be sure that anything that I do to you, you can heal right back from, because I want to play with you over and over again, little pet.
<laughs> Why not have a seat for me? Yeah. Go ahead and close the shutters. Unless you want someone to watch. I'm sure they'd enjoy a little bit of a show. <laughs> You've earned your award. start out gentle in the first round, but I assure you, if you want something a bit more intense, I'm more than willing to make that happen for you. Mm. Are you going to be a good pet for me? Isn't this better than calling your friends at the DDD? <laughs> no, don't worry. I was prepared for you to try that anyway. Your phone wasn't going to work. You've already had a man inside. That's how I knew that you were new. They had already communicated to me that I can just come in and do whatever I wanted with you. Because they've already taken care of everyone else. And there will be no one to save you from me. When I'm done with you, you are going to be unrecognizable in all the best of ways. Wouldn't you like that, pet? Hello everyone, it's Prince Cairo, and for those of you here on YouTube, this is where your audio ends. And if you're trying to hear just a little bit more, be sure to check out my Twitter. And if you're looking to hear the full experience, check out my Patreon. It'll be in my link tree in the pinned comment down below. Special thank you goes out to all of my patrons, especially that of my precious pets. Creek, Lunar, Vinoin, Toka, T. Briscoe, Michelle, and Nikki Pele. Thank you all so, so much for all that you do. It truly does mean the world to me, be you patron or not. Thank you all so, so much for all the likes and comments and everything else. It means so much. I've been Prince Karu, and remember that your prince loves you all. Mwah.